Yes, it's finally time to take the fully redesigned 2025 Ram 1500 truck lineup on a first drive. Yes, this is a full video where I can show you the Tradesman, the work truck version of it, that's a little bit more affordable. And I can show you how it tows because the big news for 2025 is the powertrain, the technology features in this truck because the old 5.7 liter Hemi is gone and we have a straight six twin turbo hurricane engine under the hood. So let's get going. This is the new face of Ram 1500 light duty full-size trucks. They redesigned the grill, some of the bumper treatment and headlamps. So now all of them across the board will have the slightly narrower headlamp and updated styling. This is a tradesman, but it's loaded with many, many features and options. So the pricing starts at $42,270 for a two-wheel drive Pentastar V6 tradesman. But this is not it. This has a lot of options that I will show you in this video. Here it is, the new three liter twin turbo straight six engine that Ram calls SST, straight six turbo. The power numbers are as follows, 420 horsepower and 469 pound-feet of torque. And this is a work truck engine option. This engine costs 2,695 bucks, about $2,700 to upgrade from a base Pentastar V6 that we've known for decades to this brand new design engine. And that's a lot of power. 420 horsepower is equivalent to a General Motors 6.2 liter V8. It's also a little bit more power than a three and a half liter twin turbo V6 from Ford. So this is a very powerful engine. And let's take it on a drive here in Texas to see how it performs in the real world. I've been waiting for this for a long time and you probably have been waiting also. So here we go. I've been thinking about this because the Hemi is no more. Everybody loves the sound and the power of the V8. So how does this truck compare? Well, I'm in Texas here. I'm gonna do an impromptu acceleration on a very, very unprepared surface. I have a draggy GPS device that I'm using. So we are at about 1100 feet of elevation. So not really big elevation. By the way, start stop is here. You can disable it. Two wheel drive, let me step into it. Wow, lots of wheel spin. Uh, I gotta tell you, so straight six engines are amazing because they have basically no vibration because all the cylinders are going in the same line. It's typical of a four cylinder also, but the smoothness of this power plant it's just linear power. They're using smaller turbochargers. There's a turbocharger for each three cylinders. That's why it's a twin turbo and they're sitting on the same side on the driver's side of the engine. And eight speed automatic is here and a 392 to one rear axle ratio, which is a really powerful towing axle ratio. And it's also good for acceleration. So let me take a look at the numbers. Keep in mind, this is unprepared gravel-ish paved road. <laughs> a little bit of an incline, 6.28, zero to 60. Um, I think this is really great for any working vehicle. Um, so as a tradesman, um, I think it's a great result. It could be under six seconds easily in four wheel drive and on a better surface. So. This truck is plenty powerful. There is no question in my mind that it's powerful. Does it sound great? Well, let's listen to the exhaust note and let's take it for a drive a little bit further. The look of this truck hasn't changed much in the rear, especially Ram signature dual exhaust pipes are still here. They were one of the first to actually introduce this type of look on a pickup truck and I still love it, but there's no more V8 Hemi. So how does this sound? Well, let's get some revs going and hear this engine. Rev 
rem didn't change the frame of this truck much. This is still the DT generation of the truck. And for this particular one with four wheel drive, crew cab and options, the max payload on this particular one is 1,666 pounds. If this was a two wheel drive truck with a smaller cab, Ram says maximum payload could be upwards of 2,300 pounds, which is quite competitive. And this number, I wish it was a little bit higher for this tradesman, but still nonetheless, it's a good number. What about towing? Well, this turbocharged engine is still very powerful. Uh, Ram says upwards of 11,580 pounds of maximum towing. And of course the brake controller is here. And yeah, that's a great number for a half ton truck, but it's not class leading. General Motors uh, maximum tow ratings are around 13,400. Ford F-150 are around 13,000 as well. So Ram is not chasing maximum numbers here, but I think that's okay because most people probably will never pull 13,000 pounds with a half ton. The rear tailgate, soft open. That's a nice feature so it doesn't slam down. But there is something that I would add to this truck that it doesn't have. Well, actually, this is a nice thing, a bed light. So even with a tunnel cover, you can light up um, your cargo area, which is nice. But there is no, at least this truck does not have a power inverter in the bed or in the back seat or in the front seat. You can option the new Ram truck with 1800 watt inverter, but that's a little bit less than Ford offers. Ford is offering 2000 watt inverters or even 7200 watt inverters on their hybrids. So I think at least for this truck, that's a miss. I wish Ram would offer more export power and do it soon. The interior hasn't changed a lot and I think that's just okay. We read a lot of your comments and we saw that many of you said for 2025 Ram should have done more. In my opinion, if it ain't broke, you shouldn't really try to fix it. And Ram has always had really great interiors, specifically after the 2019 model came out. They increased the screen size. So the central screen is now 8.4 inches. That's the smallest screen you can get. Uh, this one is equipped with trailer steering feature. It will help you back up. You can twist this knob. Um, and you have a brake controller, which is great. Physical on the right hand side. I'm right handed, so this is great. Here's my transmission shifter. Because this is a little more of a basic truck, it doesn't have four wheel auto setup, but other Ram trucks do. I just have two high, four high, and four low. This is a very tiny detail, but I noticed that the switch gear here on the driver's side door is new and you got auto up and down on the front two glass and of course rear glass is powered also and you have adjustable power adjustable mirrors and spotter mirrors which is, I think is a big deal in any pickup truck there's a blind spot monitor here for safety this mirror is heated for the winter and if I push that button I can power adjust the spotter, which is really helpful for towing. So I don't have to ask my friend uh, to adjust my spotter mirror on the passenger side. I can do it myself. For this year, Ram introduces a new electrical infrastructure system inside this truck. They call Atlantis High System. Part of it is how all the sensors communicate together. But this tradesman also has this adaptive cruise control system and it works quite well it also has lane departure warning and if this was a fancier truck you can also have active drive assist or also active drive assist hands-free that are available that feature is available as a subscription on more fancy new ram 1500s in the tradesman this is a combination of analog and a digital screen here for the gauge cluster i think that's just fine it has worked for the last i don't know 20 years why not just keep working so I, I don't mind this I think this is great very clear I can reset my trip meter and by the way let me show you what I got on the trip over here I drove almost 42 miles 41.8 and it took me about 58 minutes so not all highway and I got 19.7 in this very impromptu unofficial 
drive experience. So, yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, it's not amazing. I mean, it's not over 21 or 22 MPG, but still, in order to have a comparable set of data, I have to take this truck to Denver and run our Denver 100 mile loop to compare it to other trucks. This is what I love about work trucks. You have lots of places to store items. This is huge space here. That's awesome, easily accessible. There is another cubby down here. Slide out, there's a cable here. You can put your change, your wallets, whatever. You have your USB-C and USB and aux ports. Really accessible, it's kind of, it's not in the way but it's also easy to reach. A um, little bit of storage down here and a 12 volt here on the dash where it was before. So if you're running another piece of accessory here, maybe on your windscreen, it's easy to get to the power. I just love this stuff. If you're not carrying six people, you can put this down. There's a little bit of a cubby here as well. And this turns into cup holders. So yeah, I mean, Ram has been good at this. And let me show you the rear seat because it's still huge. Let's take a look at the back. So Ram will have many configurations for the rear seats. This is a single piece rear seat that folds up and down. What I love, it's a, it's a one-handed operation. So there's no other levers I have to pull or, or kind of touch in order to do that, which is really helpful. I'm about 6'3". I'm pretty big dude and I'm sitting here like like a limo so this space is really huge still cubbies here my vents so really this is becoming not just a work truck this is becoming a family truck that you could work with during the week and play with on the weekend so that's what I love about trucks they can do pretty much everything Usually when we're test driving a pickup truck, especially a work truck, it's not really about steering feel or suspension setup or shock absorbers. But I gotta tell you that Ram got it right with the DT generation way back in 2019 model year. And it's still here. The frame is fully boxed. It's a very strong frame. They're using coil springs in the rear and the front and a multi-link rear axle setup which makes it comfortable. Uh, these steel wheels and just regular old tires have plenty of cushion. This is really a pleasure to drive. And it's also relatively quiet in here. There's not a lot, I'm not hearing any wind noise at 40 miles an hour. Really pleasant, even with towing mirrors. And I gotta tell you, I mean, of course this is not a race car. You're not gonna be carving canyons in this. But for a pickup truck with about, what, just under 1,700 pounds of payload, this truck still feels great. It's comfortable. You could go long distance on a highway in it. You could carry payloads and tow trailers. I think they didn't need to change a lot of it, and they didn't, and it's still really, really good. Here's a quick breakdown of the new 2025 Ram lineup. Of course, the Tradesman is where it all starts with the V6 optional engine, like I told you. Then the Bighorn model is their volume leader. It's called Lone Star in Texas because it's the Lone Star state. This is the starting price without destination charges. And of course you can get the turbocharged engines here. When you go Rebel off-road truck, it's only turbocharged and only crew. That's the starting price. Laramie also only standard um, turbocharged engine. And you could choose two wheel drive or four wheel drive. Then finally, Limited, Longhorn, Limited and Tungsten are the luxury trucks with every comfort imaginable in the pickup. They're all high output engines with 540 horsepower. And here's the starting prices without destination charges. So they're getting really expensive, but they're also offering a lot of new features and a new powerful engine. And then Ram told me something else. So 2024 is really kind of the year of the Ram truck because by the end of this year, 
they're going to show us something new for the heavy duty i'm hoping it's a significant redesign of their heavy duty lineup or at least an update and in april of 2024 the rho high performance ram 1500 truck will also be shown and all of the details will be unveiled we expect it to have trx suspension and turbocharged power with 540 horse so with this tradesman truck new for 2025 you saw a lot of great features right but it comes at a price of course we have to pay for this so i told you what the starting price is for the base two-wheel drive model now when you add four-wheel drive that adds money of course when you add a full crew cab that adds a little bit more then the towing package once again a little bit more and on and on and on so price for this truck is tested is 54,580 bucks it's approaching 55 grand wow I, I'm a little bit surprised but I can kind of see some of the value that's in this truck still let me know what you think in the comments below all right finally I know you've been waiting for this first towing experience with a new hurricane powered Ram 1500 Ram provided the truck and the trailer this is an Airstream tandem axle and according to the sticker maximum gross vehicle weight rating of this trailer is about 7300 pounds so this trailer is around 7000 pounds maybe a little bit less but it's kind of big and tall so I think it's a good first experience to see how this engine reacts to pulling a sizable large trailer I'm pulling with the Laramie today which is a nicer truck it has many more options and it costs a lot more and some of the options it has it's also outlets here in the back bumper area for trailer cameras and also monitors so for example you can monitor tire pressures on the trailer you can also set up many cameras on the trailer and have the full view behind the trailer or on the sides of the trailer as well which is a great feature this truck is showcasing ram's new 14 and a half inch central infotainment screen so it's larger than before it's high resolution they say and i have some towing features here this digital button that's basically always there for my trailer brake controller gain uh i'm not sure what i think about this i mean this is cool but what if the screen has an issue um but i can easily change my trailer gain which i'm going to keep at about four and a half i also have my steering assist to back up the trailer over here i have my air suspension control so i can lower and raise it and the symbol also shows what's going on and i have dual wireless chargers here in this new system so ram is really going all in on technology and it's really well at hand so let me show you the drive modes on the steering wheel here on the left side there are small buttons and i can go either to the right or to the left and you can see on my full digital display my gauge cluster it tells me i'm in tow haul mode which i will be it kind of wants me to go in four wheel drive auto but if i don't want to i can push this button and tell it that i want two wheel drive which in most cases i think is just fine let's try a two wheel drive first When this generation of the Ram 1500 came out originally in, what, 2019, they had a really cool feature. It's basically automatic trailer length detection. You basically had to turn after you hook up the trailer a couple different times, and the truck using its radar system would estimate the length of the trailer. So you can have blind spot monitoring, and just kind of in general, it's nice to know you know how long your trailer is and that feature is still here it's telling me right now that the trailer is about 20 feet long um yeah well i think it's a little bit longer than that but i think it will learn the trailer in a bit and we'll be able to know exactly what's going on I gotta give props to Ram. This is the best towing mirror in the segment. And here's why. 
Yes, it's power extendable. Yes, of course you could fold it. I mean, other people have that. But using the same switch on my driver's side, I can also control the lights and the spotter mirror. So take a look. I can move this. This is powered as well. Nobody else has the entire combination all in one. This is pretty awesome. Okay, I'm still in tow haul mode. I'm gonna pull on this side road towards the dead end. And I'm gonna try to accelerate and see how does this torque react? This is still the standard output Hurricane 3 liter, so 469 pound-feet of torque. Um, just normal acceleration, but I'm gonna give it the beans. <laughs> okay, so giving it the beans spins the tires. I think that's why in tow haul mode, initially, it selects all-wheel drive, because they don't want you to spin the tires and use up the tires unnecessarily. So I'm gonna go to all-wheel drive mode right now. It's available to me. So I'll do another start with all-wheel drive. This truck is handling this trailer with no issue. There's a weight distribution attachment on this hitch, ram set it up, and you know, the air suspension on this truck is as good as ever. Really comfy. Let me see how it stops. Really smooth. I think the brake gain is selected just right. So let me do another acceleration with all-wheel drive. Since I do need to back up, let me try this. Trailer steering ready. Shift to R, reverse, and use an up to steer. Okay, I'm gonna put it in rear, reverse. And I need to take the trailer to my passenger side. So let me try that. So I'm applying a little bit of accelerator because I'm on the downhill. And I actually need to make a tighter turn here. So I've been backing up trailers for about 20 years. So really, I probably won't, won't use this system very often. But if you've never backed up a trailer, I think this could be quite helpful. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's working. It's a little bit more not as aggressive as I would do it myself, but I think that's for a reason. Because if you have a new driver who's never backed up a trailer or doesn't do it very often, um, I, would, I would expect it to be a little bit more gentle. All right, I have all-wheel drive enabled. The trailer is still hooked up. Let me try another acceleration. Oh yeah, almost no wheel spin. I'm using basically full throttle. And you know what, it almost feels like there may not be a large trailer behind me. I mean, this engine has lost so much torque and so much horsepower. This is not even the high output. This is a standard output engine. Yeah. So, of course, I am not getting that hemi sound that I think a lot of us are used to, but I'm not wanting more power. This truck has plenty of it. Well, there you have it, a first towing experience with a brand new Hurricane powered Ram. So like I told you, this truck is super comfortable, very capable and it has excellent technology. I stand by what I said, the best towing mirrors in the business, bar none, period. But it comes to the price. The Laramie 2025 Ram 1500 starts at just over 63,000 bucks. But the truck you see here with the wheels, the options, the side steps, all the technology, the towing package, and the standard output Hurricane engine, sticker price, 83,400 bucks. Wow, it's quite expensive. You get a lot of truck for the money and that trailer's probably way more than that. <laughs> so yes, this is the type of business recreation that costs money. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Check out oldtfl.com for everything automotive in one place. And I cannot wait to take this truck 
up the eye gauntlet the world's toughest towing test very very soon to see how it behaves when the mountain really really bites thank you